Here's news anchor John Webb. The intersection of Heartland and Prairie in Coeur d'Alene is filled with good food, espresso, music, and a chicken. Better yet, a chicken playing the violin. Um, I, I've just kind of settled on the chicken, uh, sometimes the violin chicken, but you know, to, to differentiate myself from other chickens that might be out there. Okay. But I have a violin, so I'm a violin <laughs> chicken, <laughs> which, is, which is not the same as a violent chicken because I'm very, very much a gentle hen. The violin chicken is a local resident who just wants to spread some positivity. It's a frightening, uh, fearful future uh, full of uncertainties. But, you know, we only have control of a, little, of a little bit of our lives. And it's like, I can do this. It's a little bit of something that uh, can provide a little bit of escapism and fun for people. And just for a few moments. The chicken has been playing violin on the streets for about 10 years now. The idea came after her husband purchased her a violin and found a Halloween chicken suit. And then, you know, I had the stroke of genius. I'm like, I'm going to put that chicken suit on and go down to the park and play violin. I don't know what possessed me to do that. It seemed like a really good idea at the time. Since then, it has brought joy to many people passing by or getting a bite to eat at the Prairie Pavilion. The violin chicken recalls one person who stopped to thank her. Just said that she uh, drove past me three times a week on her way to dialysis. And one day she felt, you know, uh, felt, felt inspired to talk to me and uh, just said that I cheer, I cheer her up for a few moments on her way. She says she simply enjoys brightening everyone's day, especially in 2020. Selena Fox, a barista at Jitter, says the violin chicken does just that. Um, I think it definitely brightens a lot of people's day. Uh, it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> definitely keeps our customers entertained while they're in line. The chicken does have a normal 9 to 5 job, so you can catch her on certain fair weather days. For North Idaho News, I'm John Webb.